Hello, I'm Dr. Ken Yates, and I'm an Associate Professor at De La Sierra School of Education. I want to welcome you to the Master in School Leadership Program and to the Trojan Family. I teach primarily in the Doctor of Education Program. I teach Learning and Motivation, and I chair dissertations for doctoral students who want to apply a framework for identifying, diagnosing, and solving human and organizational performance problems in education. This framework is called the Gap Analysis. The faculty who designed the Master in School Leadership Program has grounded the capstone event for the program in this framework. So in the next few minutes, I'd like to tell you more about Gap Analysis. To more easily understand Gap Analysis, I want to first talk about problem solving in general. Then I will describe the Gap Analysis Framework for solving problems. In many respects, humans have survived and evolved over time because of our ability to solve problems. While our early ancestors shared the instinct with the animal kingdom to survive by hunting and foraging, as our brains and our capacity to think and communicate using symbols and language increased, we became more effective and efficient problem solvers. Note the last figure in the Ascent of Man picture and we call the movie Apollo 13. The film is essentially a story about very complex problem solving. In education, there are many, many problems, and they're often very complex problems because they have lots of moving parts, lots of variables interacting at the same time, and involve lots of people with different ideas about the problem and how it should be solved. Often, we can't even identify how a problem originated in the first place. Problems appear to be easy in the making and hard to solve. So, as Albert Einstein said, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. One essential, but often overlooked, step in the process of solving difficult problems is to avoid jumping to a solution and pause to take some time to shape the problem as a series of goals to be accomplished. The Gap Analysis Framework for Solving Human and Organizational Problems is described in the book Turning Research into Results by Richard Clark and Fred Estes. The text primarily focuses on business environments. However, more recently, Robert Rueda applied the Gap Analysis Framework to educational settings in his Three Dimensions book. Both texts are used as primary resources for conducting gap analysis projects at the Rossier School of Education. Gap analysis process begins with a very clear, succinct statement of the problem. However, one characteristic of a problem is that problems similar to wishes are based on variables that you do not control. The key word here is control. When you restate problems as goals, you identify the relevant variables in the problems and determine how the organization can control them by establishing performance goals for all the stakeholders within and outside of the organization. In short, gap analysis is a systematic problem-solving approach to improve human performance and achieve organizational goals. Moreover, the gap analysis model helps organizations to identify goals with the purpose of gaining a deeper understanding of any possible root causes that could be impeding the organization from achieving its goals. Gap analysis then answers these seven questions. What is our performance goal? Where are we now related to our goal? What is the size of the gap? What is causing the gap? What solutions will close the gap? How do we implement those solutions? And how do we measure our progress? Some people ask, why is gap analysis so important? The reason is that there is an extensive body of evidence that people do not analyze the cause of performance gaps. We impulsively select and implement the wrong solutions that two thirds of the time do not solve the problem and often make it worse. When solutions do not work, we often blame the people who have the problem. So what makes gap analysis so unique as a problem-solving framework? The answer is that gap analysis draws on research 
in learning, motivation, and organizational theory that suggests most performance problems have three causes. People may not have the knowledge and skills to perform the tasks necessary to achieve their goals. People may not value or feel what they are doing is important or have confidence that they can do it, so they don't start or persist or put effort into achieving their goals. Or people do not have what they need, so they are prevented from achieving their goals. When causes for performance gaps are diagnosed along these three dimensions, solutions can be identified that have solid evidence in the research and a high probability of closing the performance gap. So let's stop to think about this for a moment in the context of the school leadership program. Think of a performance problem you may be encountering at your school. Perhaps it is students who are underachieving or a subgroup of students who are underachieving. Or perhaps it's teachers who are not teaching all the grade level content standards. Or parents who do not get involved in their children's education. Or perhaps it's your own challenges or those of someone you know in your organization. Drawing on your own experiences at your school site Throughout the school leadership program, you will learn how to use the various steps in the gap analysis problem solving framework to set and measure goals, diagnose causes of performance gaps, and propose solutions for closing these gaps. You will maintain a portfolio of your work in each of the courses that you will use to complete your final capstone project. In a proposed school action plan, you will demonstrate learning from several case study gap analysis conducted throughout the program. You will present these as an e-portfolio including evidence of your work about each stakeholder and the synthesis of your coursework. More about the capstone project and how you will develop it throughout the program is available in a manual that the faculty has prepared to guide you in this process. Your coursework throughout the program and ultimately the capstone will provide you with the knowledge and skills and dispositions necessary to become a successful school leader. Again, welcome to the school leadership program and to the Trojan family.